Hey gorgeous, welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm back building yet another Queen Anne Victorian home um, in my save file. And this is going to be the house where the Langrec family is going to live. Now, if you don't know who the Langrecs are, Galen Langrec was first introduced in The Sims 2 and she was a mate for several of the families. And she's quite infamous for having an affair with both Don Lothario and uh, Daniel Pleasant. And a little fun fact is actually that she's involved with one of the scripted events uh, with the Pleasant family. So if you go and load up the Pleasant family in The Sims 2, uh, Kaylin will come over to clean uh, the house. Daniel is home alone and his wife, Mary Sue, is off to work. Um, and you'd be asked if you would like Kaylin to stay uh, over after work and uh, Daniel is prompted to have a little bit of a woohoo sesh with uh, Kaylin and actually the game is programmed for Mary Sue to come home early. She gets fired from, uh, fired from her job and she catches uh, Daniel with... did I say Don? I mean Daniel. She, catch, uh, she catches Daniel with Kaylin in, uh, in bed. <laughs> so yeah, Kaylin is definitely a little bit of an interesting character. Um, uh, like I just said, she also had an affair with Don Lothario. Um, and Don Lothario is the Pleasant Views womanizer. He is uh, engaged to be married with Cassandra Goth. And he also has an affair with both the Caliente twins and Kaylin Langrec. So that is who Kaylin Langrec is. Um, in my save file, um, I had quite an interesting idea for a storyline. So uh, Kaylin fell pregnant with Don Lothario's baby. And because I always kind of imagined that Don or Kaylin was Don's favorite, he wanted to help her out. He kind of stayed in a relationship with her as far as uh, Don is actually able to commit to one because he's a bit of a non-committal sim. I would imagine he would probably still cheat. But uh, yeah, he wanted to help her. He wanted to stay uh, with her and take care of the baby. But unfortunately, disaster striked and Don Lothario died. So that left uh, Kaylin alone and uh, pregnant. And um, yeah, and this is actually where I wanted to also introduce some uh, Sims 3 characters because the Langrec family was also part of Sunset Valley in The Sims 3. Uh, Kaylin is a kid in The Sims 3 and she has an older brother. She lives with her parents and uh, her aunt in a rather modern house, I would say. Um, so in my save file, her parents sadly are no longer alive, but her brother is, he kind of stayed with, you know, his parents. He's a bit of a lazy sim. He never really was very, uh, ambitious or wanted to move out. He always kind of enjoyed staying at home and letting his parents take care of him. But unfortunately their parents died and now he lives by himself in this, uh, in this big old house, actually. Um, when he learned that Kaylin... Uh, fell pregnant and she is single. Her Don Lothario died. He wanted to take her in and help take care of the baby. Like I just mentioned, Parker is a little bit of a slob. So Kaylin and Parker are definitely very different sims, but I do feel that they care deeply about each other and that's why Parker wanted to take her in. And also Kaylin, she probably, or I imagine that she would live in like a smaller home, maybe like a one bedroom home or an apart apartment. And it wasn't very suitable to, to raise a child. So she was happy that Parker offered uh, for her to come live with him in this house. So now they live here together and take care of uh, a little baby or a little toddler. So I also wanted to kind of invent a storyline for Parker and kind of build on his character in The Sims 3. So in The Sims 3, like I just mentioned, he was described as being a little bit of a slob. He, um, he's also described as being a little bit of a ladies man and um, he uh, does have some points in, um, in the athletic skill, I suppose. So I imagine in my save file, Parker being um, a, a professional athlete, maybe something like a personal trainer or something or a football player. And um, 
um, but he is definitely a little bit of a slob. He is not someone who likes to cook for himself. He's re- he re- he's really a microwave meal kind of guy, if that makes sense. And so he's actually quite happy with Kaylin being around because, uh, you know, she uh, is um, a lot more neat. She, in The Sims 3, she's actually described as someone who constantly takes care of her brother and who has to clean, clean up after him. Um, so that is kind of the arrangement that these two sim two sims have. I do, um, I do imagine that there might be some um, fights around the house, but when it really comes down to it, I feel like both of them have their hearts in the right place and they do uh, care deeply about each other. So it's, uh, I would say it's a pretty wholesome storyline still, as far as you know, sims drama goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is basically the storyline that I uh, I went for. I really hope you guys like that. Um, also, I had the idea of, uh, obviously, since Parker's a little bit of a ladies' woman, to, um, I imagine that he would have a fling with quite a few of the women in town. Um, and one of those would be Cassandra Goth, because, uh, like I said in the beginning of, the fam- of this video, apologies, uh, Cassandra Goth actually had an affair with, uh, or not an affair, she was engaged to be married with Don Lothario. Um, and I kind of, imagine that she is a little bit of a a naive person obviously she's very smart she's in the science career but when it comes to love she's a bit naive Um, and I feel like she would probably be very much in love with Parker but Parker you know he um, he's a bit non-committal I would say so yeah that is actually the storyline that I have in mind for this family and I really hope if you guys uh, like it so about this house, as you can see, we uh, already have moved on into the interior um, and the exterior is an old Queen Anne style Victorian home. I imagine that this house has been around for quite a while. It used to be the parents' house. Actually, in The Sims 3, they live in a more modern uh, home. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure that the houses that I build for my save file are all kind of cohesive and they look like they fit in the world and they don't stick out like a sore thumb. So uh, that's why I went for this Queen Anne style. But obviously, Kaylin and Parker are, I would say, more hip sims, a little bit younger. So um, they would have renovated the inside quite a bit. So as you can see, the interior, I really went for a more modern and family friendly aesthetic. I used a lot of uh, dream home decorator in here as well as some parenthood items and um, yeah to make it look a lot more family friendly and a lot more fresh and modern on the inside Um, whereas if you would compare it for example to the goth family house they have a lot more um, old furniture it's really uh, you know, everything is Victorian, I would say, and they have a lot of antiques around the house. Um, and I feel like that fits, you know, their taste a lot more. Um, so yeah, I really actually quite like this house. I don't often build houses like this. Usually I build like a modern exterior and a modern interior, or I build a very uh, traditional exterior, and then I go with more old fashioned um, furniture as well but I feel like it's actually quite realistic where you know if you're going to buy a house often uh, very new houses might not be available to you or not uh, in the area where you want to live and uh, but you're not necessarily you know it's not necessarily your taste to have a heap of antiques around the house so you would have more um, modern furniture even though the house that you live in is Uh, quite old. So yeah, I thought it was quite realistic and I quite like how it looks in the end. Um, I would say that the interior is definitely very close to my own personal taste, even though I love building Victorian homes in The Sims. I don't necessarily want to live in one myself. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I really love this combination. I... uh, Uh, Yeah, I think it's just very realistic to build houses like this and I definitely intend to do it more often. So... Uh, The color uh, scheme of the exterior, by the way, will change quite a bit. I don't think I get around to it just yet. Um, But uh, as you can see, I really went for this bright yellow and brown uh, exterior. But I felt that the brown was just looking a little bit too drab, a little bit too dark, a little bit too old. And it it didn't really look very... 
um, friendly, like family friendly. So here you can see me change the colors. In the end, I went for a yellow and white exterior, which made the house look a lot more um, soft and friendly, I would say. And yeah, I really like how this house turned out. I hope you guys like it as well. Um, they live uh, next to the goth family, as you can probably see. Um, and in this little neighborhood, we also have the cemetery and that other blue Victorian home uh, across from this house is a haunted rental lot. And I also made videos on those builds already. I think those were actually the first two videos on my channel. So if you're interested, please feel free to check them out. Um, so yeah, that is actually basically all I really have to say about this house, you guys. So I kind of wanted to just discuss some Sims news because it has been quite a big week for Sims news. Um, first, there's a new kit announced. And um, I mean, say what you will about kits. For me personally, I have been on board with all of the building kits they have put out so far and I'm really excited actually about this one it looks really good I love that art deco vibe I love the maximalism vibes and I was actually a little bit annoyed because I just finished building the the alto house and I really went with a kind of art deco style for that house and then they announced this kit and I was like, oh no, I wish I could have used that in that house. <laughs> but oh well, it looks really nice and I'm really excited to build something with it soon. Maybe I'm kind of inspired to do like an art deco uh, apartment in San Myshuno. So yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think of the kits, what you guys think of kits in general. Um, yeah, I just don't buy the... For me personally, I like kits. I just don't buy the... Um, create a sim kits because I'm not very interested in those but the build kit so far I have been on board with I feel like the plant kit was a little bit lacking there's not a whole lot of plants in that kit that I use all the time just like a few and I felt that the industrial kit was pretty cool but um, a lot of the furniture that they added they looked very very similar to what we already had in the game so I would say my favorite building kits are definitely the Courtyard Oasis kit and the Country Kitchen kit. And I have to say I'm very excited excited to, for this new... I forgot the name. I'm going to call it the Art Deco kit. I don't know. <laughs> um, and in other news, they also announced... Or not announced, they already updated. If you open the game now, you can already play with story progression. And it looks so interesting. I haven't played with it myself yet, but I've watched plenty of videos on um on the subject and it looks very interesting um so now i believe your sims can decide to have uh, have children i mean not your sims obviously your sims uh, already would have been able to but you had to have to direct them obviously to do certain things but the world around you um you know no one really did anything so you wouldn't have for example your next door neighbors uh, getting pregnant or moving out or moving in. Whereas in real life, those things happen. So, and now with the new updates, you can, um, or, you know, the Sims in the neighborhood, they will uh, move in or move out or decide to have a baby or decide to adopt children or decide to ad adopt a pet. So that is very, very cool. And you can also um, adjust it completely to... Um, what you would like them to do in the game. So if you don't want Sims moving around, because that does feel a little bit random. I've seen some videos where, for example, a very rich family all of a sudden decided to just move out and go live in a starter home in a completely different world. So I think for me, I would personally probably switch that option off because that just seems a little bit odd. I think to improve on that system, on the moving system, it would make sense for Sims to only move to bigger houses, for example, if they have a lot more money or if, or if they had another baby or something, or if they are financially struggling, only then that they will move to a smaller house. But for now, it just kind of seems random. So yeah, I think there's definitely things to improve. And it's also a little bit disappointing that your Sims cannot fall in love yet um, but uh, the way that they have presented it they said that they expect to be able to do more updates so they will probably include more um, 
how do you say options or things that your sims can do so at the moment they can't get married or fall fall in love or start new relationships but i do think that they will add that in at some point but yeah it's definitely an improvement to how the game was the, the neighborhood definitely feels more alive that way but there's also i do see some strange things happening that i wish um, they would approve, uh, improve but yeah i'm very curious to uh, to know what you guys think as well <clears throat> so now we are in uh, the little uh, toddler's room i imagine them to have a little boy and as you can see i already put like a normal grown child's bed um, in this room because uh, children don't stay toddlers for a very long time and i thought it would be nice that once he grows up and maybe you're not playing in this household that he would at least have a place to sleep um and uh you also saw me putting in a desk under the bed and that didn't work unfortunately so i had to change it in the last minute and yeah this is the attic space i actually built a little gym here uh for parker because he is in the athletic career i think realistically it wouldn't be an ideal um location for a gym in an attic i think in summer it would get so so hot and it would be super annoying anyway to climb up the uh, the ladder all the time if you want to work out and uh, but oh well I mean you can just switch it out you can easily put some workout equipment in uh, Parker's bedroom maybe that's a bit more realistic but you know I had this additional space and I thought why not use it so I decided to make a little gym there for Parker and this is actually the final room <clears throat> the little bathroom so uh, yeah, I don't think there's much left for me to talk about. I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you did like it, please let me know by leaving a like or a comment or feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!